guys my name is divyanshu with embedded engineer and trench electronics in our previous tutorials we have discussed about for loop and serial communication and today we will discuss about while loop although with the help of for loop we can do anything but just sake of knowledge we will discuss about while loop so for while loop we are having some requirement related to hardware like arduino laptop breadboard one red led one green led one clone of resistor and one usb cable and some jumper wires so just see the circuit diagram we have connected one red led on pin number 13 with the help of yellow wire and with the help of green wire we have connected the green led and with the help of one clone of resistor we have connected the ground pin of led so now we will see the code for while loop so here with the help of while loop we are going to blink the leds and for number of blinking we are taking the input from serial monitor provided by user so here we have assigned pin number 13 and 11 to red leds and green led and we are taking two more variables number num green blink and num red blinks that i will discuss we will discuss later that for what purpose we have taken these variables and inside these two variables red message and green message these are two string type of var variable and inside that we have stored some string like the red led is blinking and the green led is blinking and inside void setup we have started serial communication with the help of serial dot begin and the baud rate is 9600 and we have assigned that our red led and green led is output type of component and now here for that particular aim we need to understand two command like one is serial dot available and other one is serial dot partial so for serial dot available means it will wait until you will get you will give some input to the hardware means when it will get some input it will execute the next command and inside serial dot parse end it will read the input means whatever the input you will provide the integer type of data you will provide it will read the data and it will store that data to num read blinks means the suppose i have provided 3 to that from serial monitor so the number 3 will store in num red blinks and the meaning is how many times do you want the red led to blink the answer is 3 okay so same thing with green also so in next line i'll show you the void loop so inside void loop serial dot print ln first we will print the message the red message means the red led is blinking so after that i have taken one variable i is equal to 1 means i have taken one variable i which is initialized from 1 and inside while loop we are providing one condition that i is less than equal to num red blinks okay in next line serial dot print you are on blink and we are printing the number which is i means here suppose our i is value is 1 and we have provided num red blinks value is 3 so obviously 1 is less than 3 so it will print 1 and in the second time it will print 2 and the third time it will print 3 and the fourth time it will not print anything it will just exit from the loop and it will come on serial dot print ln and it will print green message so it will enter in second loop and the same thing happening here with green led now i'm going to upload the code to the arduino so that we can verify our result on serial monitor as well as on hardware so i have uploaded the code now we can open the serial monitor and it will ask the input so i will provide for red led 
and three for green LED. So it will start a serial monitor and you can see on hardware also. You can check the result on serial monitor as well as on hardware. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video tutorial. So please like, share and subscribe our video channel. Thank you.